All right, hey guys, I'm here to remind you about bow tie multiplication today. Some of you use bow tie multiplication as a way of remembering the steps to do two digit times two digit multiplication. What we're going to do today is just review those steps. I'm here in costume with my bow tie, my pillow to plump, and my broom to do some housekeeping. Let me remind you of how we use the bow tie method to do multiplication. All right, if you were in Miss Witt or Miss Pope's class last year, you got the full show. I rolled up to class in a bow tie for like two weeks. I brought my pillow to plump, so I remembered to put my placeholder zero, and I brought my broom to do some housekeeping. Those are the three big steps that you need to remember to do if you're going to do the bow tie method multiplication. All right, I've already got this example done for you, so we're just going to kind of go through the steps that I did to get there. So to begin with, you always multiply the ones first. We know that three times five is 15. So you can see my five and then I carried a one. I added the plus sign to remind myself to add it at the end. Next, I multiply the tens, three times seven. Three times seven is 21, but I have to add that one on top. That equals 22. So my first partial product is 225. So when the rest of the costume comes in, I gotta plump my pillow, nice round placeholder zero right here. And I need to do a little housekeeping. So I'm gonna sweep up so that I know I don't need to add that one again. Then I'm ready to finish my bow tie. Multiply the ones again. Four times five is 20. Zero, carry my two, add a plus sign so I remember to add it. And then I multiply my tens. At this point, you can see that I've got my full bow tie here. Four times seven is 28, plus two is 30. So my other partial product is 3,000. Then I know all I need to do is add my two partial products to get my final product of 3,225. If I have done the entire bow tie procedure, then I have a bow tie, I have a plump pillow or a zero, and I may or may not have done my housekeeping depending on whether or not I had to carry anything when I got my products. I've got one more example. Here's what I'd like you guys to do. Follow along and see if you can remember the steps as I solve this one. First thing we do is multiply the ones. So I know that I'm going to multiply six times eight. Six times eight is 48. Put my eight, carry my four with a plus sign to remind me to add. Next, I multiply my tens. Six times four is 24, plus four is 28. So my first partial product is 288. Next, I'm ready for plumping my pillow. I put a nice fat zero right there. It's in line, kind of like keeping the pillows in bed. I have to do a little bit of housekeeping, so I'm going to sweep up that four that I don't need to use anymore. And then I can finish my bow tie. Multiply the ones. Three times eight is 24. My four, carry a two with a plus sign to remind me to add, and then finish my bow tie. Three times four is 12, plus two is 14. Got my two partial products, then all I have to do is add eight plus zero is eight. 8 plus 4 is 12, carry my 1, 4 plus 2 is 6, plus 1 more is 7, and 1. So my final product is 1,728. To make sure I've done it right, if I, after I finish double digit multiplication with the bow tie method, I should have a bow tie, a pillow, and housekeeping if I had to carry. So this was just a review. Some of you didn't use the bow tie method last year, that's totally fine, but for those of you who did, just wanted to refresh your memories. Hope this helps.